Hello everyone, it's the world's first poncho chief and today I'm going to be talking about yet another touchy subject in the Halo community, which is Halo 3. Like my first video, it will be centred around facts and my personal opinion will be left out, so there's no bias in the video. However, if anyone wants to know my opinion, I'd be more than happy to put it in the comments if anyone wants to ask any questions down below. So the point of today's video is to look at the real reasons Halo 3 was popular and why most consider it to be the best Halo game of all time. Time itself is the most important aspect of Halo 3's success. Firstly, it was the end of a trilogy, and at the time, thought to be the final Halo game. Halo 3 gave fans the ending that they'd been waiting four years to see. Halo 3 was guaranteed sales, no matter how the game was, because it was the end of the trilogy, and the story had fans going insane to see. That coupled with an incredibly good marketing campaign set the way for Halo 3 to be a huge success. The next point is the Halo 3 released in 2007, which wasn't long after the Xbox 360 launched. Many people, including myself, only got an Xbox 360 for Halo 3, and this in turn created an overwhelmingly large population on Xbox Live. Speaking of Xbox Live, the Xbox 360 heavily evolved Xbox Live into arguably the best online experience of all time. The new features that Xbox Live brought to players again ensured that Xbox Live would have a thriving population, and in turn gave Halo 3 the population it had. A lot of new people were introduced to both online multiplayer and Halo thanks to Xbox Live, so it's important to take note that this would cause an influx in popularity for Halo 3 too. There are some of the more obvious examples as to why the Halo community seemed to be the biggest around Halo 3 times. Halo 3 itself though had a lot of features which allowed both competitive and casual players to thrive. The game itself was much more welcoming to a larger skill range than Halo 2 was which mixed in with Halo 3's ranking system, which worked perfectly to create a game that catered to both social and competitive players. Some other features included Forge, which allowed players to create maps and game types and share them with the community and their friends. The file share system was also an amazing new feature in Halo 3, and it allowed players to share game clips, game modes, screenshots and maps on their profile. Halo 3 itself was a game for the community to share their passion for Halo, However, saying it's an overall brilliant game, or even the best, is personal opinion, and forcing such opinion on someone else who might not like Halo 3 is only going to set a divide in the community. There's a Halo fan out there that will claim every Halo game is a brilliant game. There will be fans that say Halo CE is the best, there will be fans that say Halo 4 is the best, there will be fans that say Halo 2 is the best, etc, etc. Often when people tell me Halo 3 is the best, I ask why. The answer I usually get from the community is it's when Halo was at its peak. Now I don't think anyone would disagree that Halo 3 at its peak was when Halo was the biggest first person shooter game out there. But it was at its peak and popular for many reasons including good timing. Such player population is not down to gameplay alone nor is it down to being classic Halo style. Halo 3 made a shift from Halo 2 in the sense that Halo 3 became a lot slower. This allowed a lot of the newer fans and older fans to get the hang of the Halo gameplay quickly without it seeming like it was a completely different game. Halo 3 adding things such as equipment, combined with the amount of bullet mag in the game for example, created a gameplay environment which 1v1 battles were common and lasted longer than the previous title. This in turn made the game feel more fun and thus attracted more players to the game. The Halo fans that grew up with Halo from Combat Evolved, like myself, are all adults now, with jobs, families, bills, and many other responsibilities. Those Halo fans can't put in the time or be as dedicated as they used to be, so expecting those people to come back to the game and be as dedicated as they used to be is unlikely. Most of the players that say they want a Halo 3 experience back simply wouldn't be able to have that experience again, no matter what 343 Industries brought out, because they want the experience of the community, not the experience of the game itself. As us long-time Halo fans get older, the younger generations will continue to work their way into the Halo fanbase. That is inevitable. It's up to us to welcome them into the fanbase instead of trying to push them out. 
Remember that it doesn't matter if you prefer classic style Halo or current style Halo, Bungie or Free for Free Industries. What matters is that we're all Halo fans right now, and we all have to help the community move forward working with each other, not against each other. Feedback and constructive criticism is the only way to move the franchise in the way you want to see it. Let's be positive about the future. That's my video on why Halo 3 was so popular. Thank you for all the feedback and support I received from my last video. It was very kind to see such overwhelming response. You can check out the World's First Poncho Chief Facebook page by clicking the link in the description. This page has over 13,000 followers after nearly 5 years of posting Halo content. This has been the World's First Poncho Chief. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.